we, we, we need to pray for Steve Ahavi. <laughs> Please, wow. he should stick to the Democrat plantation. Otherwise, you'll be next. So welcome you again to another video. Whether this is a prophecy, I can't tell. But he said we should pray for Steve Ahavi. So I remember this, this you know, um, and we, we, we need to pray for Steve Ahavi. <laughs> Please, wow. he should stick to the Democrat plantation. Otherwise, you'll be next. Mm. Now, so Steve has, is being asked by, he's being told by this mm. guy, he, he went, I believe it was called Douglas or something like that, who died way back or dark. And, and he said, what were you acting? He said, I acted as a monkey. Mm. He said, um, why you set our, our, our race back 400 years? He said, someone said, how oh, you set our back 400 years? back to the plantation by accepting to act as a monkey as a black man. The man stood and said, yeah, I was being paid 11 million. Steve Hub said, for 11 million, I won't eat no food. I'll just be eating bananas, only bananas. From, from beginning to end, I'll be a monkey. I'll never answer to my name for 11 million. A genuine monkey. Genuine monkey. <laughs> so they'll call Steve. Steve, I will refuse to answer my name, Steve. I will call me monkey or app for 11 million. Now notice. <laughs> notice this guy would apologize. Mm. Apologize and say sorry. Mm. Yet you're being paid hundreds of thousands an episode. And you're apologizing for your character acting like what he was acting like in a movie. Mm. Think about it. Cogitate. It's not illegal yet. They're working on it. Think. Mm. Why would they forward celebrities to tell us who to vote for? Because mm. they know they can do it with emotion. Because mm. it's an act for them. Mm. And we are listening. We're no longer listening to our preachers. And also our preachers mm. are bought ponies behind pulpits. They don't care about the morals. Mm. You see, just because I might not follow the morals I minister, it doesn't mean that I should stop preaching the morals. True. Just because, true. preacher, you sometimes drink, it doesn't mean say you should not preach against drinking if you find it in the scripture. Preach. See, there are so many preachers who are preaching riches mm. that God provides and they have not even paid their church rent. Mm. Because we have a market to preach the truth. Mm. That's it. Whether we don't live that truth, mm. we should preach it. Whether or not we don't live mm. that truth, we should mm. preach the truth. Mm. Because as you are preaching the truth, you are mm. preaching to yourself too. Mm. Because confession changes you. Mm. See, 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 I was a teacher at university level and college level. Same with prophetess. So we know one thing, the most important thing to learn a subject on how to learn something mm. is to teach it. Teach what you know, mm -hmm. and it will force you to find more information about that. Because as you are teaching, you start questioning yourself. I just said this, but there's another angle I've not touched. So it gets you to research that area and bring it again and teach. So teachers know almost everything concerning their subject. Not they know everything, but almost everything concerning the ins and out of their subject. So you need to teach it. Mm. Now here, here is where I'm going to now, because this is just part one. I told you before, yeah. we are going to remove the roof of Didi's mansion. Yes. Uh, mm. And I'll get to the oil. Mm. <laughs> My question is, if it is a crime, I want you to understand, I want to ask if it is a crime, for somebody who is lusting after a woman to rape her if she's wearing a miniskirt. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> you're walking down the streets and you're wearing a skirt that ends where it starts. Your undergarments are showing. Should a man who is lusting after you be exonerated in court for raping you? The answer should be no, isn't it? Yes. But why is it that a rich man 
asks you out and he sleeps with you and the next thing you claim that he used his financial power over me but you used your body power over him and you're not arrested wow <laughs> I know you're not hearing what I'm saying because if your cleavage is too much, are you allowed? Is a man allowed who likes that type of thing? Is he allowed to reach out and grab one? <laughs> because if we take it to court, a man who is a leader, let's say you are a president of a country, you are a minister of a, of a, a ministry, uh, no, not, not a gospel minister, I'm talking about a minister in government, mm -hmm. or you are a director of a company. If you are attracted to a man, woman and you say, I love you, mm -hmm. after you dump them, they can literally come back and say, sell, uh, sexual harassment mm -hmm. at work. Mm -hmm. And the courts would understand them, they would say, you used your power as a leader over this person. Mm -hmm. So they use their power. What about the man who is handsome? Mm -hmm. But no money. Mm -hmm. Why can't he be arrested for sexual harassment when he used his power of handsomeness? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out some few things here. <laughs> Maybe men are understanding me better than women right now. Yes, yes. They are catching it. Because yeah, our women are playing victims at every turn. That's why I say every meeting you do mm. in this day and age, mm. record it. Uh, just record it for no reason at all. Just record it. Because mm. it's so easy mm. for people to claim. So now if you have a DD here who recorded everything, why was he recording it? Mm. For pleasure later? Maybe he was giving it to the people that were filmed. And now hear this. Over 10 people according to the reports. Of celebrities were watching as Didi fondled a nine-year-old girl. Mm. Nine-year-old victim, so to speak. Whether it's a girl or a man, I don't know. Because Didi... Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to, to explain some few things. Do, do you understand what I'm trying to say here? How can 10 people be watching like this and not do anything when there is a nine-year-old? Mm. and did his filming and why are the names not coming out now when they are on a video mm. because we know they are not victims mm. why can't we just go and arrest these people mm. 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 here's the issue over 60 percent around 62 percent of his victims were black so who was watching Black or white people. Please, that's homework for you. 30% mm -hmm. were white. Mm. My mm. Just around 10% Hispanic and other races. Mm. But who was watching? Who was behind the scenes going like, yes, this is so entertaining. Who was it? Mm. And why is it that they just decided to come out after he has a lawsuit against a legal company? Mm. How? How is it so happening all at once and everything is falling apart in Diddy's life? Yet the videos, they, are col they have collected the videos, they've watched the videos and seen that this guy is there, this guy is there, this guy is there. Nobody is going to pick them up. Mm. Mm. Why one man? Mm. Why slow down when you now have the evidence? Because this is not circumstantial anymore. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's right there. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. The evidence is there. Mm. there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. And why is it that when Kamala was there, before now, why is it that they created a law that makes it illegal to really, really malign Asians? So now it's so difficult to even say anything again as an Asian, they can actually make that law come up right on the spot wow. and you'll be charged. Yet they skip black people. And yet we are the most maligned. Mm. 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 Everything about us is bad. Black cat. Black Friday. 
black sheep. <laughs> black sheep of the family. <laughs> Everything. Nobody says, yeah, let's fix the law. Mm. But Kamala was there supporting one that supports the Asians. Mm. And it's okay. Mm. Now she claims she is black. <laughs> I'm the pop of the Roman Catholic Church if she's black. <laughs> <laughs> My other question is simple because you didn't want to answer this one about rich people, about raping people. You did not want to answer this part. <laughs> are, you, are you here or you've gone home? We're here. Why is it that we find people like Melissa Mopek of No More saying it this way? You have whole life was a life of sex slavery. Imagine sex slavery and it at the highest cost. Mm. Never arrested. Okay, my family, I welcome you to our good news prophetic, our daily devotional message for today by the prophet to Christianity, highly esteemed prophet Hubert Angel, and the president of the good news world. Madam Prophetess D.B. Angel, this is a prophetic word for you. And these messages I constantly share with you, they are the messages of the hour. And today's topic or title is called Conducive Celebration. Conducive Celebration. And our uncle scripture is taken from the book of Psalms chapter 30 verse 11 to 12 using the NLT version you have turned my morning into joyful dancing you have taken away my clothes of mourning and clothed me with joy mm, that I may sing praises to you and not be silent Oh Lord, my God, I will give you thanks forever. Glory, powerful. There is a celebration that has the power to produce results. Many problems faced by Christians today can be overcome through the power of praise and celebration. The Bible tells us that God inhabits the praises of his people, meaning wherever holy celebration is, God is there also. As a child of God, it is important to not only worship in celebration, but to do so in spirit and in truth the word conducive mean tending to cause or produce something scripture show us several instances where the power of god is exercised through a conducive celebration one example is when paul and Silas were in prison in the middle of the jail cell they knew the conducive power of celebration was present as they sang hymns praising the lord the prison's very foundations were shaken and they were freed from their shackles in the same way, God is right here, dear, when you worship, ready to lose the shackles. They are holding, that are holding your life in bondage. Utilize the power of a conducive celebration today. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Let me take the last paragraph again. Scripture show us several instances 
where the power of God is exercised through a conducive celebration. One example is when Paul and Silas were imprisoned. In the midst of the jail cell, they knew the conducive power of celebration was present. As they sang hymns, singing, uh, praising the Lord, the prison's very foundations were shaken and they were free of their shackles. In the same way, God is right there when you worship, ready to lose the shackles that are holding your life in bondage. Utilize the power of a conducive celebration to the glory and glory be to God. So our prophetic declaration for today, you read with me, you follow me, or you join me as I read. God inhabits my praises. I recognize the power celebration even during tomb. In this year, I will celebrate more than ever before in Jesus' name. Amen. And so shall it be for you, your family, your loved ones in Jesus' name. So for further reading and for further studies, read Psalm 23 verse 3. And our 360 day Bible, 65 day Bible reading challenge, your scripture, my scripture, our scripture for today is taken from the Gospel of Luke chapter 10. Make sure you share the message and make sure you don't waste the message. If you have a copy of the Good News Daily and you don't share it, you are wasting the message. Let me remind you, the Good News Prophetic Daily is a prophet in writing is a prophet in writing so as you are sharing it you are indirectly prophesying you can say prof for me i am not a prophet i don't have the gift of prophecy by sharing the good news daily actually you are becoming a prophet you are sharing the prophetic message so god bless you for making time to read the good news daily with me good news to you and good news to you